Hey guys, Angie Nelson here from theworkathomelife.com. I've gotten a lot of requests lately from you guys asking me what do I think is going to be some of the trending service offerings for freelance service providers in 2018. And that's always a great question. I always love brainstorming these posts at the beginning of the year because the online world is always changing. And what we were doing two years ago isn't necessarily, you know, some of the most in-demand fields of the moment. So I've put together a list of seven of the in-demand freelance field that you may want to focus on in the new year to expand on your services, land more customers, find more gigs, and even increase your rates. So number one is content writer. This certainly isn't something new, but it's something that's always expanding and it's always evolving. And it's a great opportunity for a lot of you who are looking for something really flexible. Um, unlike things like customer service or even, you know, some of your social media jobs, content writing is really something that can be done anywhere, anytime and almost on any device. So a lot of content writers that I know and that I have even worked with in the past, they are moms. So they are working in the evenings, overnight, you know, after their kids are in bed or while they're at school. So this is something that can really be done, you know, on your own time as long as you're able to meet those deadlines. And as I said, it's something that's always evolving while, you know, you may be automatically thinking that content writing means writing blog posts or writing articles. These days, it can also mean writing ebooks or helping to write the content for an online course. It could mean writing the weekly email newsletters that a website is sending out. It could also mean the social media updates that they're putting out. Any means of communication that is written, someone has to be typing that up you know, in order for it to be published online. And that opens up a huge opportunity for a lot of people that are looking to work from home and look from work from home on a flexible schedule. Um, a lot of training isn't going to be involved. You just need to have, you know, great grammar and English skills in order to land those jobs. Another one that I wanted to talk about today that we're seeing a lot more buzz about in the online world is project management. As website owners, you know, small business owners, entrepreneurs, bloggers are expanding their offerings into things like product launches, um, ebook creation, speaking engagements, those kind of things. They need somebody who can oversee all of those projects. And a project manager, you know, they may outline the timeline that needs to, uh, tasks that need to be done. They may be in charge of outsourcing, you know, and hiring the people that are actually going to do those tasks. And they may just be in charge of making sure that everything is getting done on time. They may be booking events, you know, booking locations, making those contacts. So those are all things that can be done by a project manager. And as someone in that industry, you know, as that go-to person, you're obviously going to be able to decide what what your job is going to entail and what you can offer to your clients. So that's definitely something to look into if you are looking for something a little more outside of the box. Also this year, we are going to see more of a demand for social media managers. This is something that's really come up in the last couple of years. You know, social platforms are always changing their algorithms and the things that they are looking for. And that could put a lot of pressure on a business owner to try to keep up with those things, you know, to try to make sure that their reach is always expanding, that they're reaching the people that they need to, to reach, that they are generating some engagement and those click throughs back to their website. And that's something a social media manager can handle. The social media manager may also be in charge of some of the customer service aspects there as well. If people are leaving comments or they're sending private messages. Those are things that are handed by that person. Along those same lines, Facebook ads. We've heard, you know, these came online a couple of years ago. There's been a lot of buzz behind it, but the thing about Facebook ads is that 
they take a lot to be profitable. So anybody can throw some money over there, but you know, for it to get to be generating the kind of results that a person needs, there's really a lot involved as far as audience targeting and you know, creating graphics and that messaging that's going to make a difference. And that's something that we are seeing a lot of Facebook ad managers pop up, and that is just solely what they do. They're really focused, and therefore they're able to ask for a lot higher of a rate than just a social media manager is even able to, to ask for. So that's definitely something to look into if you are really someone that's passionate about Facebook. The last one that I wanted to talk to you about today is a bookkeeper. Now, bookkeeping, bookkeeping is a little different from accounting in that you don't necessarily need that accounting degree. Bookkeepers oftentimes are just, you know, entering data into a s accounting software. They may be categorizing income and expenses. They may be running some reports as far as, you know, where a business is at. And as we see a lot more solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, home business owners, you know, making the transition to working at home, there's a lot more of that demand. Because while we may like to make money and save money and spend money, a lot of us really don't like to deal with the nuts and bolts of our money as far as categorizing things and make sure, you know, that receipts are scanned and everything is ready to go come tax time. So that's something that a bookkeeper can do. And as I said, it doesn't require, you know, that accounting degree. You don't need to be a CPA or a tax professional or any of those things to get involved in that field. And that goes for all of those that I mentioned here today. All of those things can be learned online and on your own time. Those are skills that you can easily pick up by, you know, one of the many trusted resources out there that will teach you the skills that you need to make that transition from maybe a job into creating a freelance business that that's truly about things that you're passionate about and about the kind of work that you want to do and especially if you're a person that really wants to feel that you're making a difference freelancing is definitely something that can give you that sense of satisfaction and that you're helping someone else achieve their dreams while you are achieving your own so I'm going to leave a link here that's going to talk to you a little bit more about the things that I've discussed along with a couple of other opportunities that I see arising. And I'll also give you some links to some places that you can pick up those skills. And I'd love to hear from you about the, the opportunities that maybe you see available if it's something else that I haven't mentioned or if there's one on my list that you really think that you want to get involved with or even have started to get involved with. I'd love to hear about it. So I will talk to you next time. Until then, I'll see you over on the work at homewife.com.